Okay, I posted a video on this a couple of weeks ago. Uh, this is my uh, lead screw drive that I made out of a windshield wiper. And when I showed it a couple of weeks ago, the collar I had on there wasn't true and it was wobbling quite a bit, so I made another one. And this has a little bit of a wobble to it, a little bit of run out, but not as bad as what it was. And to be honest with you, I think there's really no way to, to get it to run completely true because the windshield wiper motor, the, uh, the gear in there isn't exactly center. That's just the way it's made. So it doesn't affect how it works. And it works really well. Initially, I had this uh, speed controller on there, which also worked good. But I was in the process of making a, an enclosure for the box so I could mount it on here. But I came up with another idea. I purchased this speed controller it's a gamma speed controller i purchased it for a uh, steering for my trolling motor but it didn't work out because it wasn't uh responsive enough and i was going to send it back but i figured oh, i'll keep it around i'll probably have a use for it well, this is a wireless remote wireless remote control so now, I can use this and I don't have to make an enclosure. I could just get a piece of Velcro and Velcro it here or up here or put it anywhere I want. But this thing works really sweet. That's full bore. And as you can see, the motor has a little bit of run out, but not bad at all. And like I say, it doesn't affect the way it turns that lead screw. And I can control this. I can control the speed on it with this remote control also. Every time I hit the button, it slows it down. I'll show you how it works while it's cutting. I also just put steel gears in the headstock and uh, it's a little bit noisier than it was with the plastic gears, but yeah, what are you going to do? I don't have to worry about breaking plastic gears in the headstock. I'm going to slow this lead screw down a little. It's going a little fast. Slow it down a little more.
I got it going pretty slow right now. Scoot it up a little bit. That's it. Now if I want to uh, Now if I want to use the uh, the gears for cutting threads, all I have to do is loosen that set screw and pull that away and put the main drive gear in there. And then I could use the lead screw the way it was intended to be used. I only put this on here because I wanted the option of going slower without having to change gears. And also, now I can leave the lead screw drive gears disengaged and it puts a lot less stress on the motor. That's one less thing the motor has to turn. So there it is. Works good.